I'm gonna try this again, but considering how dry Furry IRL, dry and boring Furry IRL has been for like the last week or so, I, I don't have much confidence. I've tried recording this so many times. I'm also a tad sick, so I might be a bit like, I, I can't even say I'll be a bit lacking in jokes, because honestly, or energy, because honestly, I generally don't have much energy during these videos anyways. So honestly, I don't think anyone would notice a difference if I didn't say anything. This is the kind of thing I'd do to people I'm with if who the fuck just texted me there is no point wasting your time with formalities are you still with trump and republicans thank you random text i actually don't know if i should have read that out because now my video might get like marked with that shit and somebody's gonna bring all those kind of people in somehow uh Oops. Anyways, as I was saying, this is the kind of thing I'd definitely do to whoever I'm with at the time. <coughs> Unless it's not someone I'm, like, completely comfortable with yet. Like, if it's- although I don't know why I'd be in this situation with someone I'm not completely comfortable with yet, but, you know. Although I feel like I literally can't because if you're- good enough friends with me to the point where we're in a situation like this, uh, you'd already know that I'm not interested in a relationship in any way, shape, or form really right now, so I, I, I don't think it would work. Developer conference running in parallel with a furry convention is pure comedy. Well, I don't even really know why they're advertising them as different things, it's very obviously just the same convention. Alright, my brain didn't register this right away. Leash and collar are different things. <laughs> I gotta remind myself of that, because sometimes my brain don't work too good because i was gonna say why only for mischievous behavior why not all the time i'd wear i'd wear a collar all the time i wouldn't wear the leash although that's not entirely true either it depends on the collar it depends on generally if it was actually a nice looking collar and if it the aesthetic i'd want to dress in i probably would wear it pretty frequently ew regular ass humans gross we hate those here on this channel you know i've apparently just not been keeping up with this artist at all i haven't seen this art piece either there was an art piece I think was from this artist not too long ago that I just completely missed and now I'm seeing yet another one that I feel I've completely missed somehow. Although this also very well could just be a case of it hasn't made its way to E621 yet. Because I don't I don't really use like Fur Affinity, I definitely don't use Twitter, I don't use Instagram, any of that. Fur Affinity I don't use because I'm not a fan of the interface really, for some reason. I don't know, it's not that bad. I just, it's like, ugh, I gotta learn- oh it is on here! Okay, I'm just, I sound just dumb, okay, well. Whatever. Isn't this a mild case of short man complex? Is that even what it's called? I don't actually think that's what it's called. It is what it is. Oh, it's Napoleon complex. Okay. That, yeah, that, that, that's what that is. That's what that is. And I guess A for effort, I don't know. To be fair, I can't talk much. I am 5'5", five five, so... You guys are working out? Just the tiny bit I did in high school was enough. But I also did have a full year gym class, or physical education class, that for some reason was really really focused on the legs or i guess legs and rear rear no one says rear like this is this is a furry youtube channel i can say butt and ass you know i feel this way sometimes as well however considering what i've seen of this person's previous comics i feel like it's for different reasons which i don't sleep on a mattress on the floor anymore so i can actually have a monster under my bed i ain't reading all that i'm not i'm not reading your middle school essay on yif this is kind of a miserable pickup line i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be fully honest i don't get the whole pickup line thing or flirting really either like if you're into me just say it i don't need to listen to your fucking riddles and shit my dreams are so weird i don't know how my dreams manage to go the way that they go last night for example now this dream isn't necessarily furry related we'll get on to that in a second the dream i had started off like some of my dreams are just like the most why was it a dream type stuff like it's the most boring average thing i normally do i just straight up just had dreams of me just watching you YouTube and going about my day normally and nothing happens and that was the dream I had one of those dreams that started off like that and for some reason of all things it was a dream about Benny's adventures starting a new theme park tycoon to park series where he was recreating Bush Gardens Tampa and he had already built Iron Gwazi and was about to do the POV of it and as the video transitioned to the PV POV of it suddenly in the dream I was on the real coaster <laughs> which was quite interesting it was a fun dream. It was a very fun dream, especially since the ride was going comedically fast, although that's not really much of a dream thing, it does that in real life as well. But I have had a couple furry related dreams, um, not as many as I would have liked, but I have had a couple, and most of them are kind of boring actually, <laughs> like, 
One in particular, the only furry dream I had that was actually interesting, where it transitioned from being at a furry convention to being in an imaginary Five Nights at Freddy's location. I do feel that that dream is a bit of a sign for how I feel my furry convention experience would go. I'm so pumped for autumn, I'm gonna fill my ass with leaves. As much as I am also pumped for autumn, I don't think I'm gonna fill my ass with leaves. Although I think I could get a pumpkin to fit. Do sharks have ribs? I don't think they do. Sharks don't have a rib cage. Although, although, okay, hold on a second. Okay, yeah, no, no, that would that does make sense. That area would be squishy. Cause taking this into account, I don't know why we're taking this into account for a furry of all things. Cause we all know furries don't have insides other than a stomach. Why is Harrisburg calling me? It they would they would not have any bones there, and therefore that would definitely be very squishy. Is there a way to convey this message and still make it rhyme? This is- this is gonna take me a while. If I finally figured out a way to make this rhyme, like keep this flow, but make it rhyme, um, I'll show it on screen. You know, this problem is pretty easily avoidable. I don't know why you put your arms over the jet engines. Which actually, looking at it here, it looks like you very easily could have put your arms under. So, this- this situation very easily could have been avoided. Okay, do not listen to this comic. If you are in public transport, surrounded by people you'll more than likely never see again, feel free to look it up, because then you get to just traumatize a bunch of strangers. It's fun. Can't relate to this. Extroverts bother me. Okay, I guess I shouldn't really say that. I don't like loud people. I really don't like people who are loud. I feel like every extrovert I've ever seen is always super loud. Which is why high school, for the most part, was so miserable, but I got back at them for it, so it's okay. Oh, the goat's back. Were they in the last video? I'm pretty sure they were. I think they got in, like, right at the very end. They have, once again, made it into one of my videos. The fuck is that thing? I kinda want one. I'm just gonna place my mouse here and pretend I'm clicking it, considering the button's moving like it's being clicked rapidly. Where'd my other tissue go? I've lost it. Oh no, I actually have. Shit. No. This one's like soaked already. Bruh. Fuck. What was this one about? Pussy. I don't think you're gaining anything. You haven't been looking at the subtitles this whole time. I feel like this is like the third time I'm seeing this. So does that mean I like gay femboys cubed? That's not a worm. That is a caterpillar. They are very different. Well, we're at the bottom and we're uh, ending off with a post that I'm sure is relatable to some of the viewers watching this. 